If you wish to understand the universe, said Tesla, think of energy, frequency, and vibration. Exactly. The brain is not who we are. It is a processor of information and a communicator of information. As this man rightly said, looking for consciousness in the brain is like looking inside a radio for the announcer. The radio is just decoding information. That's what the brain body is doing. The brain is dark but sees light. How is that possible? How can my brain be totally dark and I see this light? Because that light in its prime form, like everything else, is just an information source. And I am decoding that information source in here into the visual reality of light because that's what the information contains. Thus, that's what it manifests when I decode it. So, this is right. There is no spoon. It's not the spoon that bends, it is only yourself. Because that spoon only exists in that form when you decode it from energetic information. Information is encoded in what we call light. White light contains all the colors of the spectrum. Isaac Newton called the rainbow a spectrum because out of the Latin word for apparition or phantom, that's where we get the word specter from. And colors are frequencies. They're just different frequencies. And when we decode them, we see that color. We think those flowers are red and yellow. They're not. Nothing has any color. The color is decided in our perception of it by whether it reflects certain frequencies or whether it absorbs certain frequencies. We're only seeing light that reflects. Thus, we're only seeing that color which is reflected by the object. Therefore, it seems to be that color. Light radiation is information and the frequency or wavelength vibration is its delivery system. The information dictates the frequency. This is mainstream science. They talk about dark energy, dark matter. So you have this massive area of stuff they say exists in this universe, which we can't see. You then have light, electromagnetic spectrum, etc., which is 0.005% of what they say exists in this universe. And visible light, which is the only frequency band that we can decode into a visual reality, is a fraction of the 0.005%. This is the visible spectrum within the electromagnetic spectrum. Look at it, it's tiny. And that's all that we can see. We are in a frequency band. We call it the world, we call it reality, but there are other frequency bands interpenetrating this one, like radio stations and television stations, sharing the same space. And what you perceive is what you can decode, what you are. And so through the body, the body we, we perceive in a visual sense what the body can decode, which is this little band of frequencies. So what is the universe? It is information. And what is the universe? It is information decoding information. When you put a disk in a computer, it's information. The computer is information. It decodes the information. One uh, part of information is encoded to be decoded. One information source is encoded to decode. And that's exactly how our reality works except the body is is decoding and also um, encoding the brain is massively part of the decoding system of this wireless cosmos we do not have empty space between us we have energy we have electromagnetic energy and we have in that energy information and from that what I call the biological computer decodes that information into a sense of reality that we think is solid but simply cannot. And the most dense of things, rocks, mountains, however kind of they may be indestructible, they are at their base form an energetic information field. The, the more dense the energy, the lower the frequency, the denser and more solid the form appears to be. 
The base form of our reality is waveform, energetic waveform, which can carry extraordinary amounts of information. I call it the metaphysical universe. Nikola Tesla, the genius from which so much came, one of the great scientific geniuses of modern times, who in, in fact, in, in effect, gave us the electrical system. He gave us radar uh, because it was stolen from him. And um, he could see beyond the physical that we perceive. And he said, the day science begins to study non-physical phenomena, um, it will be, uh, make more progress in one decade than in all the previous centuries of our existence. Why? Because you go to the source of the reality instead of the decoded um, expression of that reality. So we live in this cosmic internet uh, on one level, it operates on an electrical, electromagnetic level. Of course, the brain is working electrically as it interacts with it. So what is the internet? People say, well, it's, it's like pictures and texts and colors on a screen. Well, yes, it is, but only on the screen. Everywhere else, it's electronic circuits and all that gadgetry. What is television? Well, it's pictures on a screen. Yes, it is, but only on the screen. Everywhere else, television, in the analog sense, is frequency fields and or, you know, the electrical kit that they do now with digital. And our body, mind, the body mind as I call it, is like a computer system which allows us to experience this reality. If you look at the body, it's just like a computer in, in its basic sense. You know, when the computer don't work anymore, won't switch on. What do you say? My computer's dead. Um, it, goes, it goes into sleep mode to save energy. It has um, an antivirus system. That's our immune system. Best antivirus system um, ever. The brain is the central processing unit. And then you have DNA, which is basically the hard drive. And um, the senses are decoding systems, decoding information into a form that the brain can uh, decode. So the senses are taking waveform information, vibrational information, they're turning into electrical information, they are communicating it to the brain, which then decodes that into a sense of reality we call the world we live in. The motherboard of the body, that is the uh, system of meridian lines of energy uh, used in acupuncture which uh, take information around the body. You know when, when, when um, information is passing around the computer too slowly um, things start to malfunction and what do we say? My computer's so slow today. Yes because the information is not passing around at optimum level. When the information is not passing around these uh, chakra systems uh, and um, uh, meridian line systems then the computer malfunctions, we call it dis-ease, disharmony. What the acupuncturist is doing is using these needles and other techniques to uh, make sure the flow of energy, information, around the uh, meridian system is optimum. This is why in ancient China they used to pay the acupuncturist when they were well but not when they were ill. Because his job was to make sure they never got ill. People say, you know, you see this in the media, he's saying you, you put a needle in your toe and you cure a headache, that's crazy. Well, it's not crazy, it's perfectly logical. If the problem with the head is that there, one of these meridian lines of information is blocked in the toe that goes through the head, then it's no good putting it in the head if the blockage is not in the head. You put it in the toe and that clears the meridian which takes away the pain from the head. It's very simple. And I love that line. You see that on, on, on news programs. They're, they're talking about a story. They'll say, well, what we know is, well, what do we know at any point? Until 1929, scientists thought there was only one galaxy in the universe, the Milky Way. Today, they estimate minimum 100 billion from one in 1929. And at that point, they would have said, what we know is. Well, what do we know?